All right, guys, learn combatives and Russian martial arts. We're going to do some punch and drill again, maybe some slow mo boxing before the robot. Okay. The body. And punch to at least two, three inches. I'm kind of talking about heavy fist, like a hammer and anvil. But I can be slow and heavy. And people don't realize I can just give heavy fist, and it looks like it doesn't hurt. But it really. It really hurts. Or I can give fast. People have no idea. They've never been really smacked in their life. Smacking hurts. So you gotta learn there's two different kind of ways of hurting people, even with your strikes. Okay? So it can be slow. Go ahead, always, always give me at least two inches of bunny tree. So you can train with one, one and a half, two is their learning. We've been doing this a while now, so go like two inches. Okay, you don't have to kill each other, but you can go two inches. And then we start building up a little bit more. I'm giving them like two and a half, three inches. Here's a three inch punch right there. And that's when it really starts hurting someone, is when I get to three. But you should be learning how to take punches, keep your structure, keep your structure. You're gonna be sunk to the ground. You're gonna be sunk to the ground. Now slow to the face, let's take a couple. Be used to rolling punches off, and there's my counter, and there's my counter underneath. You gotta be careful because we don't want, he doesn't have a mouth guard yet. Cobra punch to the chest. Good. Yep, and better. So you flick in, you flick out, you're done with it, you combine your defense to your attack. There's really no difference. Defense, offense, no, one goes to the other, goes to the other, goes to the other. He is forgetting you. Okay, relax it. Don't load up. You gotta stay relaxed. So punch. No, no, no. Just punch. There you go. But make sure you make at least a little counter. You're not going deep enough. Anyway. Your structure, your arm is out of the way, so there's no power. You gotta make sure that how you're hitting has some uh, bone structure. Yeah. Um, it's gotta have some structure behind it. It could be all this weird angle. And it's still just instinctively know even if I'm on one foot how to have some structure uh, behind my head. Up here, up here, up here. Chin down. Structure. Roll it off. Yeah, but don't tighten up. So it's good, and then you, you stay tight. You, you gotta be done with it. Yeah. 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 Don't think first. You hear it and just go in, go in, go in, go in. What angle do I want to hit the guy? I go up and somebody else do that way. I want to go this way. I want to go there to get him away from me. Sometimes it's like if I'm late picking this punch up, sometimes I can't defend. I'm too late. So as it gets there, I'll hit him to knock him back so it doesn't hurt me as bad. I'm taking some of the force off of it. Stay loose. Yeah, no one got me. Stay loose. See, don't don't come up here. Down. You gotta be have your chest on. Drunks know how to not get hurt. I'm gonna be drunk in kung fu a minute, a minute here to prove a point. But keep doing it. Jackie Chan, drunken monkey. Don't be up here. Lower this. Lower this. Tension in his chest. 
you build tension, I'm gonna hit there and trip your leg at the same time, take you down, break your structure, whatever. Structure. I'm flowing because I'm a little warm in this, so I'm just gonna flow a little bit. I'm trying to show that even you hear me, oh I'm just acting like a drunken master too. Yeah. It'd be fine, like if you get hit in a bar fight and there's multiple attackers and stuff, that's the kind of thing you're going to have to need to do. There's times to go hard and there's times to be loose. <laughs> See that? That's what I was explaining earlier. So that fist started to come in, and I moved his structure away to take the power and the penetration off of his head. So even if it's still hitting, there's not much there, okay, with his body weight moving back. Have your awareness up one. Not your chin up, your eyes, and your awareness. Okay? And not so much you leave it below. You gotta be aware of everything. Okay? And I'm, I'm looking uh, away, but that's because I like to train for such a simple drill in case it's it's multiple attackers or uh, they're on the side of me or a sucker punch or whatever. Keep going in one more minute and then we'll go boxing structure. But try to get, try to get. We're not trying to punch each other straight on in the teeth because we, we don't have hurt. So we're trying to you know, give some hooks to the side or whatever. You're not thinking about what you're doing. Don't just you know, go behind. Think about where you're hitting. Where are you aiming this? Don't think first. That's why I have this. Kodagashi. One-handed Kodagashi right there because he telegraphed the load in his shoulder. Most people couldn't do what I just did. Okay? Because that's what people do. They load and they give you the tension. They give them the cues and you get experience so you read the cues. Instead of just going straight to what you need to go to. Think about this. Yeah. Where are you hitting? Boom. Right. Yeah, but think of it. So it's not hitting my surface. You got to think about where do you want that to go. Like a laser, I am now blowing a laser hole through you there. I'm going to use my thumb to go down into his uh, psoas muscle to break his structure. Who would think about using a thumb to break the psoas muscle into his structure so I can do some kind of breaking structure thing. Okay. So you gotta, even even something as simple as this, to here, that's not just in, I'm going down, I'm thinking about where I want to, my force vector, force vector, lasers to go. Okay. Same thing, a lot. Be loose, be loose, breathe. Don't just, don't just hit to nothing. It's not just a general body. It's I'm going through you. I'm going up, I'm going down, I'm going in, I'm going there. Where am I going? The stretch. Okay? Right. Think, you stop breathing, you got all the time. You can't try hard, you just have to do. Okay, okay. box instruction. Chin down, hands up. Just slow. Breathe, you're not breathing. Breathe. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You're seeing stuff. There you go. See stuff. No, no, what was that punch? This punch was nothing. It was gonna miss for no don't don't fucking do this. <laughs> We're not trying to kill each other, but at least give me I'm aiming at your head, I'm aiming at your ribs, I'm aiming at the solar plexus. You have to aim your punches. Okay. And even pros don't aim their shit. They just throw. A caveman. You gotta aim where you're going. Okay. So we're going slow to learn the roll, learn our defense, see things coming. We're practicing mostly vision and brain mapping and angles. Good. But exhale will be good. And then boom, jab right back. No. See if this is here, that can go right there. Oh. That's all you need to fight. 
Okay, you just gotta see. Oh, <laughs> okay. No, we're not. You can't kill each other. We don't have mouth guards. As soon as he gets a mouth guard, um, we can do a little bit better. So we don't want to. We don't want to hit each other so hard. We do some teeth and cause bleeding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that might have gotten me too. But what I, 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 I want you to know, while well, that was there, instead of you, you did a couple punches that were like, they fucking wanted to hit me anyway. So it doesn't give me any good training. Because okay. why would I deal with it? Okay, I got you. Yeah. So now, let's slow down. Let's slow down. Think about boxing and defense at the same time. Exhale. You're still sink. You're getting head over your feet again. You gotta still stay. Just because you're coming at me, then uh, that's what untrained guys do. They start falling over themselves. Stop breathing, buddy. Stop breathing. No, we're not, not patty cake. Here, structure. It doesn't have to be fast, it just has to be intentional. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Good. You see how I took that, guys? That was a salute, or as Sensei Steven Seagal, my great grandmaster, said, Suyagi. Ukinagashi Suyagi. Sword hand. Okay? So all I gotta do is, there was a punch coming right in, and I just, all I gotta do is make it miss this punch. And then as a boxer, MMA fighter, I'm in still range to counter, or maybe against untrained guys that overextend, he overextends, and then I wrap him up and I can control a situation with less violence. Okay, structure. Breathe, stop. You gotta breathe. Same, same, keep your, good. Keep your hands up. Remember, look in, look out. No, out, or in, okay, or catch, or parry. No, whatever, there. But it's not defense, you keep going defense, then offense. Defense, then offense. I want you to sink, have proper structure in the flow between, so it's more like a fight where it's defense and offense aren't separate. They're not, they're not one and then the other. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm oh, sure you're okay. So boom, and then I come back, and then you come back. They don't speed up, we stay at the same kind of speed of work. Yes, good. And then get your structure back again. Good, that was it. So this all work, this, all this work right here, don't get sloppy, and, and what were you doing? Don't get sloppy. This work is the same work without taking the head trauma putting on boxing gloves. Like you're learning all the things without necessarily the brain damage I took in military's camp. You don't have to, okay? I mean, sometimes maybe you have to if your plan is to be a pro fighter, but especially as you get older, disabled or whatever, okay? So think about where your hands are, then you just drop your right hand right down there. I go boop. So we're doing boxing structure now. It means I always want your hands, elbows on your ribs, at least up to chin level. So I can do whatever I'm doing. Don't forget about your cover blocks. Okay? Yeah. So all that. Good. Keep it fairly slow. Good, you were done with it. That was good. So you focused it then. Good. People are like, no, this isn't how Nick Diaz fought, or why a guy who's kind of plotting and not the fastest, um, Sean Strickland. But yet he's so hard to hit, even though he's upright and doing all the things you're not supposed to do. Because he has the vision to do little weird arm parries to stop from getting hit clean. The whole thing is hit and don't get hit. And it doesn't really matter if you get hit, if you're a pro fighter, it matters if you get hit clean. And in all, like I said in the other video, I only get hit clean once per round against the top pros, or in, in, even in my fights. Usually it's just a little bit, and I don't really get hit that much. So Sean Strickland, just, he gave me a thing a little bit ago, and it wasn't a block I would have learned. I just kind of redirected, like a sword fighter, uh, I think he had a right straight punch coming in at me. And I just kind of did like a sloop, but I used my knuckle and I just did this here and I redirected it off my face. That's all you got to do. One more minute. Good. Breathe. Okay, so yeah, you're holding too much tension there. 
So if he had the body shot right when you were doing that, it would have killed you. So, you know, I mean, real fighting would be kicked and all that. Right? Yeah. Keep, keep, you keep dropping the right hand. Don't do that. You keep dropping the right hand here for no reason. Okay. Good. You're seeing things good. Move around a little bit. Move around a little bit now. There's the entry. Bang! Off from my salute. My seagull. Sea lot salute. Whee! 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 Keep, keep up, keep up here. Yeah. Hands up. You're seeing things? Oh, softball on you. I changed it all. Oh, shit, I went softball on you. I didn't work on that. I didn't work on that yet. Good. Now, offense and defense aren't separate. We need to do a little bit of both. Keep breathing. Same can breathe. seeing things much better so hopefully you guys can see from earlier videos this was a long one he probably clicked off but there was some tidbits of information here that I think at least some people I don't know if it's just the stomach people or some old TMA karate people some people are, are liking this and you really should just for some of the insights and these are learning insights for him and me these are learning insights that you can get without full power sparring I'm, before I was 40, I was like, man, you guys spar hard. And I, I trust me, I've done a lot of sparring hard 20 years against top pros. And I'm not saying I'm just the best boxer in the world, but like in mixing the martial arts together, and it doesn't matter if it's sport fighting and not deadly street fighting. I teach street fighting. I teach self-defense. I've done all those things. I've bounced. I've faced multiple attackers and weapons. Yes, I have. But these insights we can get without the full power brain damage, and especially as you age... Where sometimes I'm like, man, my back, my legs, I can't be doing like high kicks and sparring kickboxing anymore, but I can still do this. And being able to do this, and even if you're walking forward and being like a Sean Strickland, or when he was a little bit younger, Nick Diaz, bam, 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 right? We're going pop, 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 and we're seeing things, and you're just standing on the guy, pop, 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 boom, and then he loads that hook to the body, bam, 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 bam. Then it's okay because we're in here. And you're just in here and you're doing 52, you see me doing. And then you're inside, but you're seeing, you're open to the awareness. And it's harder, but hopefully you have the awareness to block your growing and see the kicks coming and all that as well. But really, many people have bad vision. And this is a very good vision test against all the different weird angles that you can see. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Come on.